Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I support the underlying bill, but, but as we are considering legislation today to improve uh, both the Medicare program and the beneficiary experience, we, we cannot and should not forget the one and a half million Medicare beneficiaries suffering from lymphedema around the country who, who need our help. 68% of lymphedema cases are cancer-related, however, 22% are non-cancer-related, about 10% are primary forms, which can be attributed to another 40 different diseases. Whatever the underlying cause, lymphedema occurs when the lymphatic system is compromised, causing painful and debilitating swelling. Fortunately, there is effective treatment available to help seniors with suffering, uh, suffering from lymphedema, notably Notably, it's compression therapy. The, the strange part about this, though, is that Medipare, Medicare provides guidance to these patients to use compression garments before uh, the use of pneumatic pumps. Now, Medicare covers pneumatic pumps, but they don't cover the garments, which they include in their, de in their uh, definition of proper treatment for uh, lymphedema. <coughs> Mr. Blumenauer and I have legislation to close this coverage gap, H.R. 930, the Lymphedema Treatment Act, which enjoys support from over 260 co-sponsors. So, Mr. Chairman, it's long past due that we fix this. It's a small common sense improvement to Medicare. It will have an enormous positive impact on the health of millions of seniors and reduce costs to our health care system. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Chairman, and with Secretary Price to close this coverage gap and finally provide our seniors with access to compression garments for effective treatment of lymphedema. I yield back.